Final leg, back again, we have the World Indoor Tour continuing, this time in Glasgow in the United Kingdom. Of course, we have to start things off the third time in a row, Mondo Duplantis. He managed to break the world record again here in Glasgow, 6.18 meters. He improved his previous world record by one centimeter. So we're looking at in the span of a week and a half, he attempted the world record in Dusseldorf, didn't make it, just missed it. Then he managed to get it at the World Indoor Tour in Torin, and then here in Glasgow, he improved upon the record. What made it so impressive though is the women's 400 meters was supposed to go down. Mondo was waiting on the side, but then they said that they're going to wait. They're going to let Mondo go. He was kind of surprised. He wasn't really ready to jump. He went onto the runway, took the cone off. He went down the runway and he went over that world record so easily. We didn't see the reaction like he had in Torin last week, but of course he's improving the world record. It's probably getting normal for him at this point. So Mondo Duplantis really dominating and that height that he got over the bar really, really makes it look like he can potentially get up into that 6.25 range, maybe even into 6.30. We might see him really improve the record, not only this year, but in the years to come. So again, Mondo Duplantis breaking that pole vault world record for the second time in the past week, 6.18 meters. Huge performance for him. Now let's head over to the 60 meter dash. We have Shelly Ann Fraser Price from Jamaica. Of course, one of the greatest sprinters in the history of the sport. She made an appearance here in Glasgow and managed to get that win in the 60 meter dash 7.16 seconds she had her trademark start led from gun all the way to the finish line she was challenged a little bit by Muriel Hurray about 30 meters into the race but she managed to get that win very comfortably Muriel Hurray from Ivory Coast came up for second Shelly Ann Fraser Price just showing she's going to be going to get that Olympic gold medal in Tokyo this year we saw that she won the world championships outdoor last year and she's definitely going to be looking to improve upon the bronze she got in Rio going back to get on the top of the podium in Tokyo so look out for Shelly Ann Fraser Price. But continuing in that 60 meters, moving over to the men's side though, we had Ronnie Breaker from the United States. He managed to get the win in 6.50 seconds, dominating performance for him. It was a world lead at the time. Of course, we know Christian Coleman, he managed to get the world lead after, but this is a really dominating performance for Ronnie Baker. Just like Shelly Ann Fraser Price, he managed to lead from gun to tape, really separated himself in the second half of the race, the last 30 meters away from the field. He's showing that he's coming back from his injury that he had last year and he's going to be really going for a spot on the Olympic team and potentially some very fast time so keep a lookout for both Shelly and Fraser Price and Ronnie Baker. Now let's head over to the women's 1000 meters where we saw Laura Muir from Great Britain a challenging for a world record in that 1000 meter event. She did unfortunately come up short but still a strong performance 233.47 seconds moves her to number nine all time in that 1000 meter distance. Of course it's not very frequently run indoors but still a great strong performance showing that she's in great form and definitely looking towards a great outdoor season in the 1500 meters this year. Let's move up to the 1500 meters and on the men's side here we had Bethwell Bergen from Kenya. He's been very consistent this indoor season. Here in Glasgow was no different. He managed to grab the win in a dominating performance. 336.22 seconds. Not only a win but also a world leading performance for 2020. So strong performance for him. He commanded the race and from the last few laps he took the lead and managed to get that win a couple meters ahead of the rest of the guys. So keep a lookout for Bergen as the rest of the 2020 season continues. Back down in distance to the men's 400 meters we had Akeem Bloomfield from Jamaica he managed to grab the win there in 46.20 seconds not a very fast time only number nine in the world for 2020 but what's really great is that he's opening his season here individual 400 meters he's one of the great 400 meter runners that we've seen over the past couple years this shows that he's hopefully going to be going for a very positive and strong 2020 season he was only third coming off the turn when they came to that final straight but he again he powered away past Obi Obokwe and Pavel Mazwak who are two very strong 400 meter runners as well so keep a lookout for Kim Bloomfield from Jamaica. On the women's 400 meter side of things we had Jesse Knight from Great Britain managed to get that win 51.57 seconds makes her number three in the world for 2020. She just edged out the win over Justina Sweetie Irsatik from Poland who were in 51.68 seconds so really strong performances from both these ladies. Knight got the pole position at the break was in the lead a little jostling Stephanie McPherson and Genevieve Russell they unfortunately fell to the track didn't get to contend in the second lap 
lap. But again, Knight was not in that. She was in the lead and managed to get that win. So really strong performance. Keep a lookout for her. Women's 60 meter hurdles turned out to be a great race between three ladies, Alina Talay, Christina Clemens, Nia Ali. They were all just together when they crossed the line, but Alina Talay from Belarus, she managed to grab the win. Not a very fast time, 8.03 seconds. She actually tied with Nia Ali in terms of time, 8.03 seconds, but Talay was given the win over Ali. Christina Clemens, again, she was right there as well, 8.04 seconds. Really strong performances. Again, not super fast, but these ladies have been very consistent during the indoor season, so we're hopefully going to see this translate to 100 meter hurdles outdoors. Let's finish things off with the women's long jump. Marina Beck Romanchuk coming from Ukraine. Very consistent 2020 indoor season already. She was the world leader at 6.96 meters. She backed up that performance here in Glasgow with 6.90 meters. Not the world lead, not a season's best, but really showing the consistency throughout the indoor season. Definitely going to be looking to see if she improves upon the silver medal she got in Doha last year when we get to Tokyo this year. So keep a lookout for Romanchuk. All right, so those are just some of the highlights from the Glasgow Indoor Meeting. Of course, the world record, 6.18 meters by Mandu Duplantis, is definitely highlighting the weekend. But in the description, go in the description, I'm going to leave a link for the full results from Glasgow. I'll be back again very soon right after this to give you a recap of the USA Indoor Championships that went down in Albuquerque. All right, so make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and be back again very soon. Thanks.